Welcome to Keeping It Real with KC. I am your host, KC Phoenix, and here we are, tarot card reading. This is for the sign of Taurus. I just did Sagittarius and Leo earlier in the pre-shuffle. Both of them, whether it was in the clarifying deck or the main deck, the Wheel of Fortune showed up. Now, in the pre-shuffle with Taurus, I can't make this up. The Wheel of Fortune showed up. <laughs> I 2021 is going to be lit. This is for January 2021 reading. And also, for those who may not know, this is a supplement to the Keeping It Real with KC show. And I'm doing the monthly tarot card readings for all of the signs. Okay. I had seen in the main deck... I had seen the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom. I shuffled again, and then I had seen the Seven of Coins, which usually means you're watching what the work you've already put in. You're checking your plans and, and seeing what's coming to fruition thus far. In the clarifying deck, it was the King of Cups, which also can be related to material things. People think the King of Cups... It's just about emotion. The King of Cups is not just about emotion. The King of Cups is also about the material. Usually the King of Cups has everything he needs on the material level. And now he is seeking emotion, not necessarily giving emotion, pouring out emotion from the heart like the Queen of Cups. And then the other card when I shuffled through the clarifying deck again was the Sun, which is known as the happiest card in the deck. So... Based off of the pre-shuffle, seems like good energy, <laughs> is what it seems like. I may pull an oracle card. I didn't pull an oracle card during the Leo reading. Leo's reading was lit. When I tell you Leo's reading was lit, it was lit. It was so lit, I didn't even need an oracle card because the cards told me what the real deal was. But I digress. Let me go ahead and get to your reading, Taurus. And again... I do not read reversals. I read energy. Also, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, when I'm speaking out loud, I'm not always talking to you. And also, I'm not licensed in any medical field. For you, It's up to you to decide what path to healing you want to take. So that's, that's on you. I'm not licensed in anything. I'm just licensed to tell the truth. <laughs> and obviously, read the cards. And of course, at the end of the day, this is still for entertainment purposes, even though sometimes this stuff really seems to be happening. But hey, whatever works. So I'm about to shuffle the main deck. If something told me to use this deck today, I was planning on using a totally different deck. But something said use this deck. So that's what it is. But as I said before, in these pre-shuffles, whether it was the main deck or the clarifying one, Will of Fortune jumped out. So 2021 is going to be lit for at least three signs. What's on the bottom? Again, seven. And again, I don't read reversals. Seven of Pentacles. Watching your work. You've already put in some work right now. You're, it's like you have a blueprint going on. You've, you've made the plans. You've got the blueprint. The pre-work in is what's happening here. And... Now, you're, you're, I guess you could say sort of like Santa Claus since Christmas just passed and this is the first weekend of the new year and my first tarot card reading for Taurus of the new year. Bottom this time, Six of Cups, Nostalgia. That's interesting. Something from the past coming in. I don't know what the cards are about to say, but if you're worried about something not going as planned, because in the past when you put in some work before and laid out some plans and put out the blueprints, and then when you actually put the plan into action and it didn't work out the way you expected it to, if you're having that feeling, don't. I don't see that this time, especially since the Wheel of Fortune came out in the pre-shuffle. 
So yeah, I'm not picking that up. I think you need to trust in yourself is what you need to do. Anyways, universe spirit, tell me what's going on with Taurus. What are the energies for January 2021 for the astrological sign, which I absolutely adore. <laughs> I love me some Taurians. <laughs> The astrological sign of Taurus. Let's see here. What's going on? What cards want to come out? Talk. I just felt you. Four of Swords. Don't work yourself to death, please. Please do not work yourself to death. I know you really want this to work. I know you want it to work bad. Whatever you're planning, I know that you want it to work bad. I know how that is. I'm going through the same thing myself. I had to go to bed at, what time did I go to bed last night? Nine something? Because I had been staying up past 10 for the past few nights. And my body was like, uh, sir, <laughs> you need to get some rest. So I'm telling you, I know you want it to work, whatever you're working on. But don't let it. Don't let it tire you down and stress you out, is what I'm saying. Take, take a rest. Take some time for yourself from time to time. Taurians are very, very capable people. I like I know a good bit of Taurians. They're very stable people. Can be stubborn as hell, but they're very stable people, earth sign. I, I feel you can accomplish whatever goal you're attempting to accomplish, if that's the case. I doubt this is going to turn into a love reading, but... With Sagittarius, it sort of went left. <laughs> we'll see what happens, but I don't feel that's it. Universe, God, Spirit, Jesus. Tell me what's going on with Taurus. What card wants to come out? I feel you. Princess of Pentacles again. You're going after the money, and it's more than likely going to come in. Princess of Pentacles, so you can see. You're going after the money. It's more than likely going to come in. But again, don't work yourself to death. Make sure you're getting your rest. Princess of Pentacles came out in Leo's reading, too. That's kind of interesting. Universe, what? Oh, hold on. I feel you. Drop. Mm. And you. What do we got? Wow. When I tell you judgment is being passed, judgment came out in Leo and Sagittarius' reading. In one way or another. But also the Two of Cups. Partnership. You might need to make a decision too. On in this, I don't feel like this is love. Two of Cups can be love, but it can also be partnerships. You might need to make a decision, a judgment, on if you want to work with someone or not. If you feel they're the right fit for whatever goal you're trying to accomplish if they fit into your blueprint. So business partnerships, what I'm picking up here, some of you may own a business. Maybe you want to merge. Maybe you want to hire someone to take uh, your day to day that happens from time to time where a CEO does the outside work and the president, they'll hire a president to handle the internal work or you may need someone to pick up where you left off simply because you need rest. That might be why you're considering bringing some, a partner in to help you with whatever you're doing 
because you're probably already aware for swords that you need rest and you don't want it to affect your money. And you know that if you don't get your rest for swords, then your princess of coin that may be affected. So you're considering your options with the two of cups for partnerships on who can best help you with the next phase of your plan. And that's where you're going to make a judgment is what's going to happen is what I'm picking up thus far. There's another way I could read this energy, but I don't think that's it. There is another way I could read it, but I'm not going to go there. Or better yet, I'll just throw it out there. Again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Another thing on the table may be related to marriage where the relationship didn't work out last time. And it affected your money. And this person, a new person in your life has come and is offering their cup of love. And now you got to make a judgment on if you want to go down that path again. I pick up, I feel a little bit of that, but I don't feel that is it. So, and again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I still feel this is business related, especially... <sighs> With the Seven of Pentacles looking. But then again, Seven of Pentacles, you could be looking at your past. Um, but it's usually of the work that was put in. So, yeah, I still feel this is business related. And Tarians are great business people. Tarians are very good with money. Them and Virgos. Virgos are good with money, too. So, but the cards will tell me for sure which way this is going to lean because I'm waiting. And there is a card that I was looking at. Is this going to go left? <laughs> tell me, tell me what the deal is. Wait a minute. Mm. Two cards. You need to get out of your head. Eight of swords. You need to get out of your head. Something you are really, really thinking about this. You're really thinking about this partnership, whether this is a partnership in business or whether this is a partnership in relationships. You, you're in your head right now. Something. I feel this is a business partnership because you know you need your rest. But you just you're not fully comfortable with trusting people and you're in your head about this. Strength card. Do you have the strength? I say you do. You have the strength. Get out of your head. Get out of your head. Tarians are strong people. If there's one sign that I really respect, I respect the Taurus. Mm. I really, really do. Get out of your head. And if you're thinking about bringing someone on, you know, check. Cross the T's, dot the I's, check the background and all that other jazz before you do so. And then again, you may want to go solo. You may feel that you're strong enough to go solo just a little bit longer until the right partnership comes along because you don't have to take any partnership just because somebody is offering their two, you know, their cup to you doesn't mean you have to take it and form a partnership. You can reject because you have the option. It's your judgment. You're the judge. It's up to you. You can reject it or not, but don't stay in your head with it with the eight of, with the eight of swords. You have the strength to make a decision. Saying. 
for the month of January 2021. Doesn't it feel so good to say 2021? 2020. Oh, hold on. She wanted to jump out. Five of Pentacles. Why do you feel like you're going to be... You're not going to be left out. You're not going to be left out. Do I have a control freak on my hand? What do you, what's that other thing? It's um, obsessive OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder. Taurus, are you one of those people who has OCD where you have to control everything? Am I talking to you? And you're not sure if you have the strength. That's why you're stuck in your head on making a judgment about this partnership of this person coming in to help you with your business. That if they do come in, you'll feel like you'll lose control and you'll be left out five of pentacles. If you got OCD, let it go. <laughs> let it go. Like, um, what's her name on Frozen? It's a, it's a shame. I own the Disney. I own both Frozens. What's her name? Uh, Helga Salsa. <laughs> Um, Freya, Solyndra, whatever her name is. Um, let it go. Don't feel like you're going to be left out if you relinquish some of your control to a partner. If relinquishing your control to someone, if someone comes in to offer a partnership, whether it be business or otherwise, that's going to give you the opportunity to get the rest you need then don't stay in your head, Eight of Swords, about it. You have the strength to make a decision and whatever decision you go with is fine because you have the strength to do so. But once you make that decision, if you decide to let them in, don't feel like you're going to be left out in the cold. Like, oh, it's a possibility I'm going to be left out because I don't have as much control anymore. Because before they came in offering their cup of partnership, I had 100% control. But now because they're a partner in this relationship, whether it be business or otherwise, I personally feel from the energy that I'm reading that it's business. But it could be a relationship, um, romantic. But I'm, eight, I'm on the 80% side. This is business. You don't want to relinquish control of the business. As a matter of fact, you want to hold on. You're afraid that you're going to lose your strength with that. You're going to be left out in the cold and you might lose some of your strength, some of your power to hold on, which has you stuck in your head, which has you on the line about making a judgment on whether you want to let this person in that's bringing their cup to help you reach that pinnacle that the princess has so you can get your rest. Don't do that. They say, let go and let God. I'm just going to say, let it go. Let it go. Let go of some of that control. I'm going to take one more card. I feel like I'm not even going to need a clarifier on this. I'm going to take one more card. Oh, what's this? Yep, what I tell you. Three of this working partnership. I told you this was business. Mm. I told you I was eighty percent sure. Now that this fell out, I'm really thinking it's business. This is business. You don't want to give up control. That's what that is. I'm not even going to do a clarifier for this. You don't want to give up control. But I'm telling you, if you can go ahead and give up control and do that, accept the cup. Now, again, you can do what you want to. You're grown. And you, like, as I said before, don't just accept anybody's cup, anybody's partnership. They're like, oh, I know how to do this and I can do that. And then they become a partner and you're still doing all the work. No, 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 no. Do your research. <laughs> which you're a Taurus, you're good at research. I know you can do that. Do your research. 
after you've done your research because I'm sure there's going to be more than one option of people coming to offer their cup to help you. And then you're going to make a judgment. You're going to make a judgment on if they can help you. I have a feeling you're going to make that judgment, but after you make it, you're going to be in your head a little bit. Eight of swords. You're stuck in your head. Like, oh, did I do the right thing with agreeing to work with this person and let them take some of the weight off so I can four of swords get some rest and maintain the business or whatever? Do I have the strength to be in this partnership? Will I be left out in the cold? Five of Pentacles. But I'm telling you, three of Pentacles, working with someone, making plans. This more than likely will go in a positive direction is what will happen. The reason I say that is because in the pre-shuffle, again, 2021 seems to be lit. In the pre-shuffle, there was a wheel of fortune. However, what I'm picking up is that in order for you to get to that wheel of fortune, you're going to have to give up control. You're used to being in control. If you give up control, there could be something harmonious there with this three of pentacles. I feel like, let me check something with the clarifier right quick. I'm just curious. I'm curious, curious, curious. Let me go ahead and check something with the clarifier. It's something, I'm thinking something. I'm thinking something, but I'm not gonna say what it is. When it comes to the clarifier, because I want to this, and then I want to do it again. Hold on now. All right. I was about to split this card in two, but something said, look at the bottom. The world cycle coming to an end. Yeah, you need to relinquish control so you can start a new cycle. You've been carrying this weight with your business on your own and you're tired. You've laid out the blueprints of the things you'd like to do. A partner wants to come in and help you. You've been so used to doing it on your own. That's why that seven of pentacles came out before, because you were looking at some other things. In addition to that, that six of cups, things have fallen apart. Spirit, thank you. That's what, okay, it's making sense now. And that's the other reason why you're hesitant too. Not just because you had done something in the past with that Six of Cups that was in the pre-shuffle that um, had happened. You think it may fall apart. Like that's, again, but like I said, it's not. I'm not picking that up. But one of the reasons that it may have didn't work out before was because of where you're at right now needing rest. You were trying to do everything by yourself, four swords. And it's sort of dawning on you that you can't do it all by yourself. So now you're open to options when it comes to suitors, business-wise, to help you with the plans that you have already laid out. The blueprints are pretty much done. It's just the point of somebody coming in to help complement what you already have laid sort of a foundation for. And then you just have to make a judgment on who it's going to be and not be in your head about it and realize that 
you have the strength to let go and that you're not going to be left out and that it will all work out in the end. And once you let that person in, that's when a new cycle begins. Whoever this partner may be. That's what I got. Close out the cycle because if you close out the cycle, as it seems that's going to be the case, the energy's there for January, then that will of fortune found in the pre-shuffle shouldn't be any issue getting it. Things will definitely start turning in your favor. You won't feel like the you'll feel like the wheel is turning for you instead of against you. But you're going to have to relinquish control. You're going to have to give up some control. I'm not saying give up all control. I'm not saying give up 100 percent control of the day to day, but you can give up 25 percent of it and you still do 75 or or whatever. And still not be left out five of pentacles. In the cold. So yeah, Taurus, that's the message I'm getting. Stop being a control freak. <laughs> so the cycle doesn't repeat itself, which it more than likely won't because I'm not picking up that vibe. And the new cycle can begin. Which I'm pretty sure you've learned your lesson, especially since that seven came out before and you looked at what at what work was put in, not just now, but also you're thinking about before where it didn't work out. And you know the reasons why. You know you need a business partner. I believe that's what your thought is. You're, you're just needing something to tell, to give you that final push. I don't know if it's me. I'm not telling you because I'm not your business consultant and I'm not a licensed business consultant. I'm just a person reading what the cards tell me. What I am telling you is that the world card came out as a clarifier. The world is a cycle ending and a new one beginning. When I was clarifying the main deck, these cards that came out, that was the cycle previously. Pre-partner. If you take on a new partner, a new cycle begins. That's what that's what came out. So and again, as I tell all of my watchers and listeners, you're grown. You can do what you want to do. But that's what came out. And I will do one of my C melodies for this one. I'm not going to do an or Oracle card because the answer is obvious on this. So let me see what the deal is with my C melodies. Spirit, wow, you just seem like you really want to come out. Okay. <laughs> oh. mm. I'm not laughing at you, Taurus. I'm like, like I tell people, I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing at the energy. <laughs> I'm laughing at the energy in a good way. This card came out. Breathe. Okay. Breathe. Break from br break from beneath the water's surface and soar up beyond the turquoise sea. Breathe. Let whoever's bringing you their cup, a partnership, or the individuals bringing you their cup. Make a judgment on somebody, and after you make that judgment, get your rest and take a little time that will allow you to breathe. I can't make this stuff up. That's what came up. Taurus, that's all I got. I love you. KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. KIRWKC on, I had to think, Instagram, on Twitter. Facebook.com forward slash K-I-R-W-K-C. Also, I upload episodes on IGTV. 
And if you're watching this on YouTube or Daily Motion, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, follow by the notification bell. That will let you know when I upload new videos. And as for the podcast, the podcast is carried on Anchor, Spotify, Apple, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, and the list goes on and on. So that's all I have for you. Until next time, be blessed.